Hello my sweet friends, this is Tracy. Welcome to another video. I am a true craft junkie and I love to share my rustic country crafts. And I also like to inspire others and share the things that I love so much. Now you have been asking for more hand lettering tutorials. And so that's what I'm doing here in this video. I'm going to share a hand lettering sign and then I will share how I made my very popular bee wreath. Um, I share a lot of things over on my Facebook page uh, that don't make it here on my YouTube channel only because I have to crank out wreaths really fast and uh, for the gift shop that I designed for and so I don't have time to edit and upload a video. So I share lots of picture inspiration as well as other little details on my Facebook page. I invite you to uh, check it out and I thank you. So many of you have already found me over there. I also share on my Instagram page so I don't want you to miss out. Out. Uh, so I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, my hand lettering uh, by the grace of God and the gifts that he has given me uh, and lots of practice and patience for practicing, I learned how to paint with the paintbrush. Now those of you that can't and are still interested, I found a free font that uh, is uh, available from defont.com so that you can download the font and then you can maybe you know create words and you can use some transfer paper or graphite paper to transfer it onto a sign and so then you can hand letter with the happy dots so let's go ahead and get into the hand lettering signs sign that i created and then i will show you the wreath okay guys these chalk chipboard nameplate signs are my favorite ones to uh, create when I'm doing signs like this. They already come with the black on it. I tried to go to the Hobby Lobby website and at this time I was unable to find it. So I found a picture of what it looks like and also the number um, you know, for future reference, because I know a lot of things are being changed with Hobby Lobby and that kind of thing. Anyway, so it already has the black on it. So I had one already done with the crackle on it. So I'm going to show you here my mess up. And the reason I'm going to show you this is because I do, I mess up. And so this is one of my favorite ways to, if I mess up on a sign, I can, um, repaint it and then re-crackle it and so then I can start over. So that's why I'm showing you my little mess up here. So I had the nameplate and I already had this sign already done. So I'm just hand lettering and then I realized that you know what? I don't like the way that it looks. It looks too off center. So I repaint it and then I re-crackle it and so then I have a clean little sign that I can uh, start over with a clean base. So I just am showing you this, my little boo-boo, so that way you are not discouraged and you become encouraged that if you mess up with painting, just paint over it and start over. I do have a video that is dedicated to just the crackling paint technique. I will have a link in the iCard above as well as in the description below if you would like to uh, learn how to do this technique. A lot of people have uh, told me that they use Elmer's school glue to achieve a crackle effect. I personally have never used that. Um, I like to use the products that uh, things are designed for. And so the fo folk art crackle medium I get at Hobby Lobby. Also, it is in my Amazon store. I will have a link in the description to my Amazon store. It is in my favorites. Okay, so then now just to. Um, hand letter. I just have a flat paintbrush and my favorite paintbrushes are also linked in the description box below because I do get lots of questions about it. I like to, this is kind of my style. This is what I do. I love to put happy dots on everything. I love to put paint splatters on everything. I love to shade. It is my style. It's what I do. And so many of you um, have encouraged me to, you know, show you more of what I do. So that is my purpose for this video. And so um, what I do is I just put the little happy dots on each end of the letter. And I think that 
that font that I found that, um, you know, I do have a link in the description below will give um, different people that don't feel like they can do it freehand will give a guide, something to go by. And I'm very excited that I was able to find that for y'all. Okay, guys. Um, so then I'm just going around and shading each letter. And like I've said before, I use a flat paintbrush. I dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water. Then I blend on a paper towel. And then I just go around the letters, go around the sign just to add some shading. I like to use different paint brushes to give me different effects. This one right here, I'm using my liner brush and just giving some character to each of the letters. Um, for the lines, I just used a number two liner. And then uh, when I do the dots, the polka dots, I just use the end of that same paintbrush, um, you know, just to dip it in paint and give myself, uh, my little letters, some polka dots. I just use my fine Sharpie marker just to add some doodling around the edges of the sign. I uh, love this look. Uh, it's what I do. It's my whole heart. I found these already painted shapes at Hobby Lobby, of course. I'm just using my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just doodling around the edges just to give a little bit more character. Just adding some eyelashes and some doodling around the edges and the wings and all that good stuff. Now I'm just using my black paint as well as my white paint to give a bit of splattering because guys this is my heart right here I love to doodle I love to make things cute um, I also love to um, put a clear glossy varnish on my projects and this is my favorite varnish that I like to use I will have it linked in the description below because I do get asked about that all of the time and yes I do seal almost all of my projects Okay, here is how I made the B wreath. I'm using a 14 inch wire frame, and then I'm also using some 21 inch burlap paper mesh. This paper mesh uh, came from Walmart. I just cut it into 10 inch strips, and then now I'm just going to cut it in half so that I will have um, these two pieces just like this. This 14 inch wire frame has six sections in it and I just roll it up kind of like in a ruffle uh, technique and then I just am putting one of the ruffles on the outer ring and then I will put one on the inner ring and um, when I'm doing the second one I said oh, I'm going to need to put um, you know another mesh in there so that's what I'm doing here I'm just putting um, I put two on the outer ring and then one on the inner ring and then I'll just continue uh, to go around the wreath uh, just like that putting one on the outer ring one on the inner ring one on the outer ring one on the inner ring and so there are three of the paper meshes in each section and so I will end up having 18 of these burlap ruffles uh, once I get finished. For my next layer, I'm using these yellow and then the black with the craft uh, 10 inch mesh. Uh, these came from Hobby Lobby. I cut them at 10 inches and then I'm just going to um, layer these on. I'm also using this black and white mesh. Now this came from Hobby Lobby as well during the Christmas season. I'm not sure if they carry it all through the year. I wish they would, but I did have some of this left from last season. So I'm using it because it makes my B wreaths look so pretty because I just love the black and white. Okay, this is how I'm going to layer my mesh on my wreath. Uh, with the black and the yellow, I'm just uh, crisscrossing it and rolling it into like a spiral form and I'm just putting it on the in the ties in the outer 
uh, ring. And then uh, for the inner ring, I'm just doing the black and white buffalo check. So for the outer ring, I will have 12 of the uh, yellow and black bundles. And then for the inner rings, I will have six of the buffalo check. These are the ribbons that I'm going to use in this wreath. This six inch sunflower burlap came from Walmart. The uh, chevron, the yellow chevron came from Hobby Lobby. The buffalo check came from Hobby Lobby. This honeycomb came from craftoutlet.com. And so I like to make each of my wreaths a little different. And so the ribbons may vary, but uh, for this particular wreath, this is what I decided to use. I have been a wreath maker for a few years and I humbly say that I've gotten pretty good at it. I have my own style um, and I watch a lot of wreath makers and I take little nuggets of what they share um, when they're doing a wreath and I make it my own. And so I do things kind of in my order, um, but, and I say that respectfully, if things work better for you, you do it the way that you like it. Uh, so what I did is I put in the sunflower uh, ribbon in first. So uh, around the edges, I just put that in the black and yellow mesh. And then I'm going to go back in and layer my three ribbons. I go in the same sequence. I have the burlap, then I have the honeycomb, then I have the black and white buffalo check. And I just layer those on and then I just put those. Um, I'm alternating them like catty quartering them so that they're not all bunched up together. And so I just go, um, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. And then that works best for me for my wreath. Next, I'm going to add my sign by using my uh, electric stapler. Uh, this is an Easy Fire. It's a Craftsman. I got it at Sears uh, a couple of years ago. And I like to staple it uh, using a bulk of the mesh. Uh, so that my staples don't go through the sign. Um, for an electric stapler, you can get different sizes of staples um, so that they don't go through your signs. Sometimes I like to add my sign first. Uh, depending on my ribbon and my mesh and that kind of thing, I kind of make it a judgment call. I just uh, am adding my um, sign in last for this particular wreath. Uh, last week, I think in the primitive um, patriotic wreath, I added my sign in first. So it really just kind of depends on what I'm adding into my wreath. And so then now I'm just um, adding bows of raffia and into each of the ties um, that have the uh, black and white buffalo check. My new favorite flower for this summer season is the Black Eyed Susans from Dollar Tree. I just cut them off and then just hot glued them uh, into the wreath, just poke them in kind of uh, like in a little cluster and uh, just made it look really cute. I also hot glued uh, or actually used my Fabri-Tac glue uh, and a combination of hot glue to attach the wooden shapes to the sign. All right, guys, I enjoyed uh, doing this painting tutorial with you as well as showing you my very popular bee wreaths. All right. Thank you you so much for your support. I appreciate all of your sweet and kind comments. I will have a giveaway very soon. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because that is one of the criteria. All right, guys, we will talk to you very soon and God bless.